The descriptive procedure is useful for analyzing continuous variables. Just like the frequencies procedure, it computes the main statistical metrics for our variable of interest. Unlike the frequencies procedure, it does not generate the frequency table. Let's generate the statistical indicators for the variable current salary in the employee data file using Descriptus. We can find this procedure here in the Analyze menu, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives. Now we enter the variable current salary in the Variables window and click Options. Now we have the set of indicators that this procedure can compute for us. Here we will select Variance, Standard Error Mean, Kurtosis and Skewness and then click Continue. Another interesting option is this one. If we select it, the SPSS will create a new variable containing the Z-scores, the standardized values of our variable. These are useful for detecting the outliers in our data. Everything is set up now, so we can press OK. Now that's the output, it's a very simple table that presents all the indicators we required. Not a lot to comment here. For the skewness and kurtosis scores, the program also computed the standard errors. Moreover, the program has created a new variable called Z-salary. You can see it here. This variable contains the standardized scores of the current salary variable. That will be all for this procedure. Thank you.